What's up guys, quite a long time since we made this kind of video and we're gonna make some different on videos compared with the previous one and introducing long products and trends in security industry where you're gonna be interested in It's way more specific for you to feel and get to know how it is So we're gonna show you something like a smart video recorder long C for channel SDI DVR So the first one we can see here is called uh, Cloud Life Actually, it means that we can view our videos, you know, recorded through our phone, which will be like more convenient for our, our like uh, monitoring work. And the second will be like cloud push, which means that we can get any versions, updates, and uh, alarm information from the server. The third one would be like the cloud backup, where uh, we can, you know, backup our videos and files uh, from the server. And the fourth one would be like the cloud share, which means that we can share our videos with our even you know friends or colleagues if uh, you allow it. So now let's turn it around and let's see the back side of this box. Wow, look at this. It looks incredible, right? Let's just expect what's next, you know, when we open this package. So there are like six features for this recorder, you know, on the back side of the box as we can see. The first one would be like the H.265 slash H.264, uh, which means that uh, the recorder supports this kind of uh, coding standard. It not only saves the storage, but also maintains the same quality of the uh, video. It also supports three kinds of methods of uh, backup, uh, like USB, network, and cloud. Just choose one of them that you like. And the third one with like uh, remote operation by phone, you can definitely like view your videos through your phone whenever and wherever you want. And the fourth one would be like multiplex operation, which means you can view your uh, monitoring feed and it also supports four or eight channels. Except the phone that we just talked about, it also supports VMS and uh, web page platforms where you can monitor your situation at home and the other places. And that also supports uh, HD signals and IPC signals. For HD signals, there are like five kinds of signals that it supports like HD, CVI, TVI, SDI, and CVVS. So from this video, we're gonna show you the case design of the recorder and the interfaces and uh, high definition demo preview with hybrid signals, remote operation, and uh, quick tips for installation and configuration. Let's get into the video. So we got after opening the box here, uh, a little white box. What's inside? Mouse, an adapter, and some screws. Lastly, we got a 4-channel SDI DVR. So now let's check out long C 4-channel SDI DVR. Honeycomb light server design makes it look like more modern and neat. And with 260 by 215 by 43 millimeters, it can appropriately be placed in your places. It's like wherever you go with it, it just looks perfectly like awesome and elegant. So from back side, we've got many interfaces here which might confuse you a lot like at first, but we can see here that these five interfaces are different from the others. Therefore, the camera is either with up to 4 megapixels SDI or ID signals, and we also see the other ones like USB 2.0, audio output, HD output, audio input, network, RS485, and power. So what's special for Lansi Fortune SDI DVR is hybrid signals, uh, with the hybrid mode that it supports like uh, XDI and IP uh, signal scan that can be simultaneously working uh, on the screen recording the things out there. For remote operation, you can view any time you want through your phone and computer convenient for your work. You can check out what's going on with your places remotely. Also record and view evidences if you feel like there's something wrong and weird. So you can see from this picture with the prevailing that, uh, you know, with the clear picture as well as the playback that it's, uh, you can, you know, check out any time you want and record and view the evidences if you feel like there's something wrong and weird. For prevailing, you can also, you know, prevail any time like through your devices that you can see the pretty clear pictures over here with all the details shown. 
and also you can play the back. With Frame SDI and IBC, we can see pretty clear features right here. We also choose some of the settings that we have recorded before. Uh, one is the street that we can see. Uh, we can see some cars and buildings that uh, you know look pretty awesome. Um, no blur, no anything. It just looks great. And we also recorded like at the exhibition of Long Sea. It looks great also. You don't see anything like uh, unclear. And the third one, we can also see like from the room that is pretty dark, like maybe under 10 lux. The camera also can record it like that through, you know, the excited VR. We can see also the pretty clear pictures. And the person here, you can see the appearance and there's no uh, anything like blur. Now is the instruction for installing the hard drive into the SDI VR. First step, let's just undo the screw. Second step. Third step. Let's connect it with two cables. Fourth step. Fix the hard drive with screws. Fifth step. Finish installing, closing the case, and screwing it on. Next is for connecting the cables into the XTI DVR. First, let's connect the power into the DVR. Second, connect the network cable into the DVR. And now let's connect the switch with the network cable from SDI DVR. And now let's connect the bullet camera into the SDI DVR. Connect the power and then coaxial cable. Connect the coaxial cable into the XTI DVR. And then let's connect the camera with the power. And then network cable. Connect it with the network cable from IP camera. And then connect the router with the network cable. Connect it with the network cable from router and connect the laptop with the network cable and connect it with the network cable from laptop All right now this configuration part let's just open IP search tool first now we can see the DVR address let's just click it and see if the IP addresses are at the same segment and then assess it and log in with our account And over here, we see the plugin that we need to download and install it. And then let's just assess it again. And now we see we are able to configure it, but before that, we need to configure something. Good configuration. When we are at channel config, after configuration. Let's just click IP, then we're going to be able to view the cameras added later on. Wait a sec while configuring. After we get back here, let's just log in again. Because we're going to configure to add more cameras into OCX. Add camera. Choose product as we are using the products made by us to work stably. And then you select the channels you want to add it on. There it is. You can see the picture over here. It's the channel that we chose just now. And over here, we also see another signal, which is SDI. You may realize that we didn't choose that, but actually, you know, it's the default one, default signal that we can view from OCX. As for playback, we can also select them again to play the videos back, like the date and channel. This is the video from another time that we recorded before. The view is pretty clear, we can see every detail. 
we can just check out the time of recording if we want it. Next, we're gonna get to P2P, but before that, we need to set up something like uh, from network, we gotta enable DHCP and save it. But after that, the IP address will be changed, so we might need to, you know, uh, get back to the IP search to just, you know, search the IP again and relocking after refreshing. It says it. Let's go back to P2P. When we see the status that shows online, that means we're gonna be able to view our videos uh, via remote operation. All right, so over here, we're at BitVision using our phone, um, trying to view our you know, videos. But first of all, we have to register and set up our account before filming. our cameras with the QR code here and enter the name of the device and here see our device details let's try to add it Okay, we've added two. Let's try to play it back. It's like the videos we recorded before. After using, we can do that. So that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit subscribe and thumbs up buttons and leave your comments down below about what you think of this model and which one you would like us to introduce next time. Alright guys, see you guys.